Hi. In one of my YouTube shorts, I show there my top in-map commands for penetration testing. So what we are going to discuss or show you today is how to use the nmap together with uh, metasploit to uh, hack into the target server so first we will look into this uh, short video that's basic scan in map then the ip address that's the port range scan. <clears throat> if you want to scan the service version, if you want to check the OS, the target. This is a basic scan. <clears throat> this is a scan, uh, to scan in the port range. Then stealth scan. Okay, so <clears throat> again, the nmap is used to check for vulnerabilities, while metasploit is used to exploit that vulner vulnerability. So first, we'll use the nmap. Nmap. <clears throat> uh, the the target. Uh, server we will be <coughs> exploiting is the jiangsec.com jiangsec.com <coughs> so as you can see in map shows some of the uh, some of those open ports <coughs> if we will have in map sv jangsec.com this will take a while because it will aside from giving the service it will also give the version of that service versions are very important because uh, some vulnerability will work on a certain version but will not work on another version obviously the next version of that software or service uh, will have a patch of the vulner vulnerability found on the previous uh, version <clears throat> that's why uh, we need to check the version it's just the same like Windows 7 has vulnerability, specific vulnerability that is not found on Windows 10 or 11. <clears throat> okay, so now we have here. Okay, so we have port 21 TCP, open FTP, BSFTPD, then 22, open SH, 23, 24, so on and so forth. So this could have some vulnerabilities. The second step is actually not to go directly to Metasploit, but for example, this one. I will copy this one, and then I'll try to search the internet if there's a vulnerability for that. So. <clears throat> Okay, so it says here that BSFTPD with uh, version 2.3.4 has a vulnerability backdoor command execution. <clears throat> so we can try this one. If this will work, uh, 
sometimes when you see a report about vulnerability, it doesn't really mean that it is really vulnerable. Sometimes when you do it, it is not vulnerable. So, for example, here in this demo, we may or may not uh, be able to uh, exploit the target machine. But let's try. <clears throat> so, I'll open another terminal here. Type sudo msf console. That is for the metasploit. <clears throat> so again, Metasploit is the one being used to exploit the vulnerability found on uh, Inmap when you scan using Inmap. So I'm using here Metasploit 6.4.20. We have the prompt now. Um, the first thing you do, because of course, there are 2,444 exploits and we cannot memorize that. In addition, there are also 1,256 auxiliaries. So the easiest way to do is to search the, to, to give a, <coughs> a keyword search. For example, you search uh, BSFTPD like that. So you will see here. Okay. Now, uh, there are two, and our uh, objective is to have this run or exploit. Now, this is number one. So, you can choose this one, for example. You can type use that one, or you can also put use one because this is number one so press enter okay now next is to get the options for for you to set to do that you type show options so in here we will only look for the required options the required options are our hosts which doesn't have any data and the airport which is 21 so we need to supply the um, the R host. The R host is the target the host, meaning the IP address. So we will do like this: R hosts. I oh know. Sorry. Set R hosts. Jangsec.com. Okay. Show options again to see if it is really there. Show options. So it's there. Now we can type run to run, or we can also type exploit to run the exploit. That will, uh, that may take a while. Okay, so it's here. It says found shell, meaning we are now inside the, uh, the machine we are exploiting. How do we know? So, <clears throat> see. Who am I? You are root ls. Mm. You are you have these different folders on that uh, particular uh, machine. Type mm, you name this a. See, we are now in Linux metasploitable server. So this demo shows that you are able to uh, exploit. Okay, let's try another one. Um, I just want to show you some scenarios wherein we are not able to to exploit. So, for example, let's go back. Let's say uh, we will use this one. We will try if the uh, there's exist a module for this search. And then if there is, we will try to check. So no, um, search open SSH. So there are a few, okay. Uh, we will try this one because this is rank great. Okay, actually this is for Windows. So we cannot use this one. Mm, let's try this one. 
if uh the search apache mm, there are a couple let's try to see for example this one let's just try again you can use this text or you can use this 295 what is it use 295 then again what you are going to do is to type show options in order for you to check the options or the uh, things that you will have to set for example in here so you have you check the required and check the uh, name that has no value so our host needs to have a value okay this one like set our hosts jangsec.com okay you can type show options again to see if it's really there so it's there now the next step is to run or you type exp uh, exploit just the same okay let's say uh, doesn't look like semantic web gateway will not engage okay so with this, uh, it will not work. So as you can see, I am giving you a scenario wherein you are not going to be able to uh, to access the target machine. Okay, so what do we learn from this demo? First is it is very important to upgrade your software to the latest version. Uh, you've seen that BSF TPD 2.3.4 has a vulnerability. So you have to upgrade it to the latest version. I think it's 3. Point something. Now, with regards to the hacking part, uh, this demo is for educational purposes only so make sure not to use this for any malicious act don't uh, use this one to any network or website without their permission what i was using here is uh within my uh network lab so i'm safe but again never use this tutorial or demo to a network that you have no permission to do so thank you and uh wait for my next video soon